What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining us for this Heroes of the Storm Dev q and I'm your host, Kevin, and I'm joined by Alan DeBerry, game director, and of course, Matt Cooper, lead designer. Gentlemen, thank you for taking time out of your day. We just have a few questions we want to throw at you, but how are you feeling right now? Cool. Awesome. Thanks very much. Awesome, yeah. Hard-hitting questions for you. I hope you're prepared. <laughs> All right. At BlizzCon, we heard a little bit about content in 2018 and how that might look different from content that we saw in 2017. Can you talk a little bit more about that? What are the expectations we should have about content that's going to be given to the public this year on this game? How's it going so far, and, and what are your thoughts? So, yeah, I, I touched on a little bit of, at BlizzCon, but... Um... Over the last couple of years, we've had a ton of content that's coming to this game, and a lot of it, we find that we end up stacking it all on top of each other. So we'll come out with a brand new hero, a, a few hero reworks, a new battleground, some cool skins, and it all drops at one time, and oftentimes players don't actually have a chance to see those changes, mm. or don't even recognize that they, they came into the game. So we, we mentioned at BlizzCon that we wanted to start to spread those out a little more so that Mainly, hero reworks can kind of stand on their own, but you throw also other ideas in there like Battlegrounds and Skin Drops as well. They really have a moment to shine. And um, we actually did that so far once with the Mecha Storm drop along with a Tyrael rework. And so that was a very successful rework that kind of stood on its own, came independently of the Blaze release, um, but also came with a cool themed drop that also had a material skin in it. And so that went over really well. And I think you're going to see us do that more and more throughout the rest of the year. That sounds great. It sounds very interesting. And of course, these reworks seem to be a big part of what we're going to be expecting this year. Now, talk to me about reworks, Matt. I know your team's been considering what these are going to be. Can you talk to us about the first heroes we're going to see as reworks for 2018? Yeah, so we have uh, two standalone hero reworks coming soon. Uh, so first up, Mediv. So uh, this is a really fun character for us to rework. It's uh, a very you know hard to play, challenging character. And one thing we've wanted to do for a long time is add Master's Touch baseline. This is a talent that almost everyone picks. It's very um, kind of core to Mediv's playstyle. Um, and then at the same time, when we knew we were going to rework Mediv, we also want to take a step back and look at. Um, we feel like there's some heroes in the game that can be a little bit frustrating to play against, um, and Mediv can definitely fall in that category, sure. especially if you're a really good Mediv who's you know on point with your Force of Wills and your portals. So we want to take a step back and look at that a little bit as well, um, and we'll probably accomplish a lot of that through cooldowns, give players a little bit more uh, you know counterplay. Mediv doesn't always have that portal up, uh, make some changes there. At the same time, you know Mediv players don't fret, right? Like we're going to. Um, add a lot of buffs and stuff baseline, even with his Force of Will. Um, baseline, it's going to heal a little bit, so it's getting some of the reabsorption talent. So if you use a really good Force of Will, you're going to actually heal your ally up a good amount. Tell us about this other one that's coming as well, and how do you guys choose what heroes do we work? So first up, the next hero coming... Sonya. So uh, this one I think we're also really excited about. This is a very uh, popular character amongst the community. He has a really solid play rate. And so we were happy to kind of look at this hero and, and we didn't want to make any major drastic changes, right? We really like how Sonya is playing and you know, the current game. Uh, but we want to look at a bunch of her talents that maybe are not being picked that often and see if we can inject some fun new play styles for her as well. So we've got um, one of her existing talents in live. I think it's called Shattered Ground. It's a, a slam talent. Um, we've just tuned that up a bunch, so now it actually drastically increases how far that splashes. So you can mm -hmm. kind of start harassing in team fights or in lane, and just a bunch of fun little talent adjustments like that. Um, as far as like, how do we choose which heroes we're looking at? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a ton of different variables. It often comes down to if we feel like you know a hero is uh, maybe not fitting um, the current you know, gameplay, the meta. Um, maybe there's adjustments we can do there. Um, we'll look at the talent trees and see, does this character have two viable heroic abilities? In Sonya's case, she does, right? But yeah. um, So we, we kind of look at a lot of different variables to try and figure out who's going to be next, and maybe a character we haven't touched in a while is a good candidate as well. Just hearing a little bit about the two reworks that are on deck here coming up, it sounds like the scope of them is pretty different. I mean, we see a pretty big rework of Mediv, adding some new abilities, uh, and then Sonya, like you said, maybe some some slighter tweaks. Um, is the variance in the degree of which we're reworking these heroes something we can expect going forward, or are you guys always looking to take the engine out and completely re-overhaul it? What should we expect, basically? Uh, absolutely, there's there's going to be variance, right? It, it comes down to, 
Usually when we go into a rework, we don't really know exactly how much we're going to do. We have a bit of an idea, but it kind of gets down to once you start diving in and you figure, okay, can I just you know, make this change to this one talent? Is, it, is the kit okay? Or, oh, if I make that change now, these three talents are you know, no longer meaningful, or we start combining a bunch of talents. Um, so yeah, Medivh and Sonia are a little bit different in the, the size of their reworks, um, but it was kind of what was right for those characters. So going forward, you know, when we dive into a character, we're going to see kind of what this character needs needs, whether it's new baseline abilities or heroic updates and so on. Is there anything you can tell me about another rework that is to come? Can you can you break some news here? What can we expect <laughs> coming forward? Uh, so Lunara is a character that we're starting to look at. She's a little bit further off, of course. Um, I don't want to spoil too much sure. with her, but we're definitely, we've heard a lot of feedback about her Wisp not being maybe the most interesting ability, um, and maybe we shouldn't have a whole talent tier of Wisp talent. So, you know, we're, we're starting to dive into that now. So, Alan, you talked a little bit about making hero releases stand out as separate from some of this other content just to get more visibility. But let's talk a little bit about uh, these reworks and how they are entering uh, the public. Like you said, we had a really cool content drop with Tyrael's rework with the Mecha Storm bundle. Is that kind of synergy something we're going to expect going forward as well? Like these really awesome themed skin drops with the hero reworks? So yeah, I mean, we want to try to do a lot of things. And I think you're going to see us try different things throughout the course of the year. In the case of Tyrael, he came along with a really awesome uh, skin drop, which I think you'll see us do as well throughout the year. But in other cases, uh, we may focus on other areas, like maybe we actually put some more effort into uh, changing some of their core effect work, the artwork. Ah, right. um, in other times, we'll actually support that hero rework with basically an updated mini spotlight, mm. a video highlighting really what's changed about that hero. So we're going to do a lot of different things, and we'd like to support these standalone hero reworks as much as we can. So any way we can, we're going to try it out. That sounds awesome. Now, Matt, I have a question for you. Reworks has been something we talked a lot about. Another area, not heroes, that we hear the word rework placed on is Battlegrounds. Um, we've seen huge reworks of Battlegrounds like Haunted Mines up to, uh, up until now, and we've also seen Hanamura taken back into the shop. Uh, can you give us an update on Hanamura, by the way? How is that looking right now, and what are reworks, where do those sit in the scope of work for 2018 for you guys? So Hanamura is something that the Battleground team is working hard towards right now. Um, we're definitely kind of revisiting what that map should play like within Heroes of the Storm. Um, so for the payload right now, that's something we're testing early on, and it's actually very different. It's now a single neutral payload mm. that's spawning in the center of the battleground. And so if that both teams are trying to uh, you know, push and pull that same payload to their um, turn-in location. Another big change right now with that battleground that we're testing internally is that the core can be directly attacked. So it's no longer about uh, accumulating points like on Towers of Doom with these payloads. You're actually dealing damage directly to the structures. And yeah, I think we want to look at all of our battlegrounds a little bit in the future as well. Not necessarily like these massive reworks like we're doing to Hanamura, but in the same way we revisit heroes very frequently and just see if we can make little adjustments. We want to do that in a lot of battlegrounds going Yeah, I think that's a, a really good point, is that the same way we do with heroes, we want to make our battlegrounds another moment that we can sure. separate mm -hmm. from the big launch of a hero and actually do reworks in that same way. So you're going to see us do that throughout the course of the year and next year. I think also we've got on the list, like, looking at Blackheart's Bay, potentially, mm -hmm. and some other uh, battlegrounds as well. So, you know, no guarantees on when everything's coming just yet, but everything's kind of open for investigation. Well, guys, thank you for being here with me. Sounds like an exciting year, and I, I love the passion, the enthusiasm, not just from you guys, but from the dev team as well. It's really a thrill to be a part of it. And of course, those of you who joined us as well, thank you for your passion for this game. If you've got questions for us or feedback, send them our way on social media. For all news and updates, heroesofthestorm.com will be your place to go. Until next time, we'll see you in the Nexus.